Gavin Robertson, Professor of Pharmacology, Pathology, Dermatology and Surgery, and Director of the Penn State Melanoma Center. We focus on um, cancer. We develop therapies for cancer. So we identify the targets, um, validate the targets, and then um, see whether we can identify targets that will synergize with one another and finally um, try to de design therapies that will inhibit those targets so that we can better treat cancer patients. RNAi technology is very exciting. It's a very, very powerful way of controlling the expression of genes. Right. So by controlling the expression of genes, you can measure and, and see their activity and their biological roles in cancer. And so the sRNA is actually very useful for knocking down gene expression for a, a prolonged period of time. And so it can be used in both cultured cells and for animal studies. We use sRNA libraries and we've purchased a number of sRNA libraries from Life Technologies that have been useful for us um, to identify new targets. Um, and these are targets that affect the ability of cancer cells to proliferate, to undergo um, controlled cell death, or to um, regulate vessel development, regulate the ability to form tumors, to move around the body, to metastasize. It's led us to identify some of the major targets that are considered to be key in terms of therapy development for melanoma patients. We also do a lot of our screens using RNAIMAX. It's a, it's a liposomal-based way of getting uh, the, the sRNA into, into cells. Um, works very well, works nicely, very reproducible, um, and can give um, good results very quickly. We found um, with Life Technologies sRNAs that you can actually put it into cells and that if you can see knockdown, and, and we've published on this, if you can see knockdown for up to eight to 10 days, this can be used for transient assays in animals. What this means is you can put the sRNA into those cells and inject them into animals and see the effect on tumor development. You can see the effect on metastasis or invasion around the body. And, and not really have to create stable cell lines. And so this is really um, significant because you can dissect an entire pathway very quickly using this, this technology. And, and you know where this would take months or years, you can do this in a series of weeks. So it can significantly advance research and jump how fast you can get uh, uh, your experiments done. A scientist generally feels very, very proud when they go to a national meeting and you're at a plenary session and you hear your work cited as how it's important and how the targets that you've identified and, and, and perhaps have validated with life technology um, products really are key to the field. And that this will be part of the target that as drugs are developed that, that will lead to better treatments for patients. You know, you, this particular target validated again with, with life technologies agents is, is, is key. Uh, so that, that makes you very proud. It's, a, it's cool to see your work recognized in that way.